you know, I was talking about whole moving out to rural areas and um, independent power sources and s stuff of that nature. And since United States energy is kind of like being attacked, I'm wondering, I'm sure they do this already. Um, they have to. Oh, uh, what would it cost to for generator and fuel delivery and maintenance for each home? Instead of having a single large generator or a power plant powering multiple places, uh, even if you whatever resources is available at the area, natural gas or whether it be oil, fuel, whatever. But what would it cost and would it be a good business model i mean would you rather pay say these people say you start a business you open you build uh sound dampening enclosures with generators and you install the so we'll say we'll do propane you install propane tanks you know for kind of far away from the home you don't want your propane tank close to your house you just don't want a ticking bomb near your house anyway you put the propane tank far away or at least somewhat some distance away from you um, small generator and what you do is you charge them for routine maintenance routine maintenance and uh, fuel delivery and what would that cost I mean if you can reduce your enemy energy usage and then use backup battery systems to you run the generator charge the battery shut the generator off what during uh, low usage times you can run off battery um it's a stable way of creating energy and it decentralizes everything what would it cost for a private company to do that it's just a just a thought so all you do is building sound dampening enclosures generators and delivering fuel or you can separate the businesses by the three by, well and what it is is it's what's good about it is it's constant work because once you install the generators you have the maintenance contract and and the fuel contract I think, I think it's eh, who knows whatever startup idea i'm sure it's already been done i'm sure people are already doing this but i wonder since they're raising debt ceiling and if you want to invest into these rural communities i wonder if that would be the way to do it because uh un, un unincorporated land is well, not unincorporated. land without utilities is a lot cheaper the hardest part would probably be getting water to the area like clean drinking water to the areas or, or usable potable water to the areas um that could also be done by a private business i wonder if you can put go inject government funding into stuff like that since we're spending money and you know they, they seem like they're going to raise the debt ceiling anyway and they're going to have to approve some kind of budget they're going to kowtow anyway why don't we get something out of it it's just a thought jones up